Well, here it is, Live Doppler 2X, the most powerful radar in the Miami Valley. And yes, we're tracking dry conditions out there. We had a nice sunny afternoon, a beautiful Mother's Day. But now things are starting to get a little bit cold, and that's because we don't have anything over our heads. Basically, no clouds, no rain showers. Here's our network of Live Doppler 2X radars. And the cloud cover that we had early this morning, well, it's moved well off to the east. The only thing we really have to worry about are some high clouds that are eventually going to build in from the west as we head into tomorrow. But because of the clear skies, the low humidity, the light winds, temperatures are really going to drop off tonight. I think down to around 35 degrees in Dayton, down towards freezing in Toledo, and the same for Mansfield, 33 degrees in Cleveland. Now, despite this temperature being above the freezing mark, that doesn't mean you're out of the woods. The temperature sensor is about five feet off the ground. The ground, it can be up to about five degrees colder than the actual air temperature sensor indicates at ground level. Level. So, again, 35 degrees are overnight low, but yes, we're still going to see that patchy frost tomorrow morning. And that's why we do have a frost advisory in effect for the entire Miami Valley until 10 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. So, yes, it's going to be a chilly one out there, but our temperature should rebound. For now, we're sitting at 47 degrees in Dayton, 48 degrees in Cincinnati, 51 in Indy, and 53 degrees down in Paducah. So, yeah, we're sort of in that colder pool here. And officially at the airport, 47 degrees. But the real key, look at these winds on the light side and our humidity down at 48%. That's some really dry air. This stuff has come right down from the Arctic. And that means tonight it's sort of going to feel like the Arctic by tomorrow morning. Some more temperatures, 45 degrees with Bob Jacoby in Piqua, 44 in Fairborn with Dorothy Nebus and 40 degrees in Yellow Springs with Lack Jack Liebold. So some of those low-lying valleys like Yellow Springs, temperatures have already fallen off pretty close to those 30s tonight. Average highs and lows, 69 and 49. This morning, 37 degrees. And yeah, I think we're going to be even colder than that by the time your Monday morning rolls around. So break out those winter coats. If you've put them away, you're going to need them at least another morning, perhaps even two. Overall, high pressure. That's what's on top of us right now. If you remember those really windy conditions we had on Saturday, that was because we were in front of the high and on the backside of our area of low pressure. But as this entire system moves off the eastern seaboard, our winds will turn around to the south, and that's going to bring in some warmer weather, but yeah, also some rain too. So by Tuesday, it's going to be pretty cloudy and pretty rainy, but at least it's going to be warm. Tomorrow, on the other hand, plenty of sunshine, a nice day, and by the afternoon, a high right around 62 degrees. Your forecast looks like this. Tonight, we're going to see maybe a few high clouds out there, but overall, mostly clear skies. Tomorrow morning, we'll start off with mostly sunny skies, the same for noon towards the afternoon. Watch those clouds starting to build in. We're going to see those rain chances really go up Monday night into Tuesday, and some of that rain may even be on the heavy side by the the time Tuesday comes around with some thunderstorms as well. In detail tonight, 35 degrees cold, some patchy frost possible here and there. Tomorrow morning, 39 degrees, mostly sunny skies. By noon, we'll make it up to 52, so things starting to get a little bit better here. And then by the afternoon, 62 degrees with a few more clouds starting to build in. And you'll see in the seven-day forecast here, things temperature-wise improve, but we're going to see a better shot for some rain on Tuesday. Even Wednesday, we could see a few scattered showers around. And then by Thursday, a high temperature of 80 degrees. And then just like clockwork, in time for the weekend.